Hi friends and happy Monday. This week I'm enjoying Yosemite National Park and I'm excited to share a wonderful and lesser visited hiking trail here inside the park. Join me along the Wawona Meadow Loop Trail. A couple of options for parking when you want to head out on this trail. You can start and park at the convenience or the general store or the Wawona Hotel and head directly to the trail. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dawn, a full-time travel blogger, and each Monday I share a new adventure on my travel website, flyingdawnmarie.com. And these YouTube videos bring you along with me for a virtual visit each week. So make sure to turn on notifications, like, and subscribe, and let's explore together. I love Yosemite waterfalls. And if you've seen my Chill Nuwana Falls blog post, you can actually see the upper falls right from the trailhead here. Horseback riding, bicycles, and even leashed pets are allowed on this trail, which is rare because Yosemite does have some pretty strict restrictions when it comes to dogs inside the park. Now, if you're interested in more dog-friendly spots in Yosemite, check out my full blog post and YouTube video. I'll link it in the description of this video below. The beginning section of this hike is wonderfully shaded by the tall trees, so even on a sunny day, you can enjoy this hike. Although Yosemite became America's third national park in 1890, the Wawona area didn't actually join the park until 1932. Now, this meadow has a fascinating history. The native Awanichi people were long active here, living along the South Fork of the Merced River before being driven out of the area. And then from the 1850s to the 1930s, the meadow was used to grow fruits and vegetables. For a brief time, there was even a small landing strip for uh, air travel in Wawona. You can enjoy the beautiful sounds of nature in the babbling brook. And this three and a half mile trail follows the historic Meadow Loop Road, which was originally built in 1891. One thing I really appreciate about this particular hike is even when Yosemite Valley is packed with people, the Wawono Meadow Loop Trail is typically quiet. Um, whether it's sunrise, sunset, or the middle of the day, like I'm hiking right now, you can get it mostly to yourself. There are some wonderful informative plaques along this trail, so make sure to stop and learn more about the history and ecosystems of this area.
nature lovers who really enjoy this trail. It's excellent for bird watching. There's lots of local wildlife and you get great forest views filled with cedar and ponderosa pine, just to name a few. Right as I was walking along the trail, I saw a coyote cross. I tried to catch just a little glimpse of him. It's another great example of why it's so important. If you do bring your pet here, keep your dogs leashed. Um, along with coyotes, this is mountain lion and black bear territory. So you wanna protect those animals while enjoying nature and the wonderful wildlife here. One of my personal favorite trees here in Yosemite has to be the dogwood and all along this trail we are just starting to see the first few peaks pop out. Soon we'll see the flowering everywhere here. As you're hiking, if you keep your eyes peeled, you can even see some of the old historic cattle fencing along the edge of this trail. If you're planning a 2024 Yosemite National Park adventure for yourself, it's important to note that specific dates, particularly in the spring, summer, and fall months, are requiring park entry reservations. So make sure to visit the official Yosemite NPS website for the most up-to-date and accurate information. And you can make your park entrance reservations at recreation.gov. Please remember all the leave no trace principles and recreate responsibly on your Yosemite trip. If you're hiking this loop counterclockwise, about two thirds of the way through the hike, there's a slightly more challenging add-on option where you can hike an additional three miles and 500 feet in elevation gain. However, this section is not dog friendly, so keep that in mind if you're traveling with your little furry friend. This time of year, sections of the trail can become a bit wet and muddy, and there are a few minor stream crossings here, but I think that just adds to the fun and adventure of this particular hike. You can absolutely hike this loop trail, either clockwise or counterclockwise. I personally prefer, and I might recommend counterclockwise, you start by heading up through the stunning forested area, and then at the last third of this loop trail, you get beautiful meadow views. Whether you're hiking clockwise or counterclockwise, both at the beginning and the end of this loop trail, you get great views of a nine hole golf course, which does seem a bit out of place inside a national park. Uh, but this historic golf course actually opened in 1918 and you do encounter it just briefly on the hike.
This trail is so diverse when it comes to local flora and fauna, from the vivid red snow plants sprouting up, a favorite of both hummingbirds and bees, or caterpillars crawling and the birds singing in the trees. This is the perfect hike to pause and enjoy the little gifts found here in Yosemite. When you finish the Meadow Loop, I encourage you to head to the nearby Yosemite History Center. They have a gorgeous covered bridge and some of the most spectacular historic Yosemite buildings. Thank you so much for joining me this week inside Yosemite National Park. And for more information on the stunning Wawona Meadow Loop Trail, make sure to check out my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com where I have a complete Yosemite section. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.